click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about various couplings and their design procedures. In the last video, we have seen important formulae and the failure modes. In today's session, we are going to start with the MUF coupling design numerical. So let us begin with it. So friends, as you can see this on the screen, the problem statement is given. Let's quickly read it out, the important parameters of course. Design a MUF coupling that clears that MUF coupling is to be designed. To connect steel shafts, so shafts are made up of steel. To transmit 25 kilowatt, so this is the power given at 360 RPM. They have specified the materials also, of course this steel is one. For materials for shaft, keys and sleeves are given. For shaft and keys, the same material is being used whose value of yield stress is given for tension and compression which is 400 Newton per millimeter square and the factor of safety associated with these two materials they have specified 4. Of course this selection we can do from PhD data book also from the section of keys and shafts but since it is given we are going to use the same thing. The next thing is sleeve. The material selection for the sleeve is such that its properties are 200 Newton per millimeter square and the factor of safety associated with it is 6. Let's quickly look at the way the design is going to be. These are the two shafts whose diameters are equal because it is not specified separately and this is going to be your sleeve. As this sleeve is one piece it is also called muff. Now this muff will have similar impression on the other end also where the shaft will be engaged inside this keyway with the help of key. So there comes another component that's called key. Now we know that key designation is its breadth versus height versus length. So in short, we need to design shaft or we may have to select it. We have to design key and last but not least, we have to design the sleeve. The outer diameter of sleeve is such that it's capital D and the inner diameter must match with the diameters of shafts. So these are the two important parameters associated with them. Let us quickly look at the material properties. Now the materials are same for steel and key. So it's key and shaft. Factor of safety is also specified. So we'll say sigma C allowable which in our case is equal to sigma t allowable is equal to sigma y divided by fos so sigma y specified is in our case 400 factor of safety associated is 4 which makes it 100 newton per millimeter square this is the first value and we know that for sleeve the allowable value in compression as well as in tension is nothing but sigma y divided by fos the sigma y in this case is 200 and up fos is equal to 6 so these are two important material properties of course we know that for steels Tau value, tau is nothing but the shear strength is always equal to your allowable value of maybe tensile or compressive, let's say yield divided by 2. So these are the three important material properties that we have to refer to. Let us begin with the first part which is of course the shaft. Now we know that the torque or the resisting torque is nothing but equal to power in kilowatt. divided by this we have been given the values let us go ahead the power that is to be transmitted is 25 kilowatt and the rpm at which it is going to work is 360 using these values we'll get after solving this expression so as we evaluate this, we get the answer. So 
somewhere around this value. Let us move ahead with another formula. Now there are certain standard proportions which we will discuss soon. Now we know that for any shaft given, the shear criteria is important and the shear criteria is given by this formula. Where D is the diameter of the shaft. Now since we already have been given the material properties, let us use this particular allowable value and therefore it switches back to now the tau value as we have seen for shaft is recently given by 100 divided by 2 you can refer to the previous formula and upon the solution we'll get the value of diameter somewhere equal to now we know that shafts do come in standard sizes and that's why let us go for preferred size 45 millimeter. So here after we will go for the shaft diameter which is equal to 45 millimeter. So this is our base value as far as this design is concerned. Now there are certain things. Standard proportions. The standard proportions do come for sleeve and other things the so standard proportion for sleeve is d the diameter outer diameter is given in terms of diameter of shaft so this is what the expression is so this value when we substitute in this we'll get and therefore d value comes out to be 103 millimeter so with this particular equation and the value of shaft diameter, let us have the diameter of sleeve or muff minimum 103 millimeter. Also the length of sleeve is also expressed in terms of diameter that comes out to be. And therefore length of this sleeve or length of the muff comes out to be, the value comes out to be somewhere around 157.5. So let us take the value to be equal to 160 millimeter. So there we come across the three main dimensions. The first one is the shaft diameter. The second thing is muff diameter. And the third one is the length of muff. So this was for this session where we have designed, we have selected the material first, then we have designed the shaft and then we have gone for the standard proportions of the muff in terms of the outer diameter and the length. In the next session, we'll look at the design of keys and other parameters. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.